So when a situation like this happens, Kurt, you got to do whatever is necessary to make sure that the people who live there, who are indigenous to that land, to the locals and whatnot, who have lived there for quite some time, can stay there, right? So when you have houses burned down to a crisp, 2,200 houses, but only 99 people dead, right? Oh, they're pretty yeah, lucky, all really, things considered, yeah, huh? Right. You got to have temporary housing. Now, we did a story where these small housings were going in. They were bringing them from Europe somewhere. When I was there, I went to one of these meetings with Ellie Cochran, the state representative who was, like I said, available, one of the only lawmakers there that would say, I'm here. You want to come speak to me? She had a distribution center for her people in her district, give them some goods, some needs, whatnot. She was also pushing this one gentleman who was trying, his name was Alfie, who is in my video, who is in my movie. Check it out. High on fire. Go to Craig Pasta Jardula. Check it out my YouTube. Um, and he was building this temporary housing, this small housing. So now they only just need a little area for the small housing. Tape it up, put it together, stay there for a couple of years, work through the city councils, work through everything until you get the rezoning done and your house can be rebuilt and you can stay there and live there, right? Well, how do you pull the plug on that? You make sure that temporary housing can stay up there. Check this video out. This is a local channel in Lahaina uh, about the small housing. A businessman who is hoping to build tiny homes for displaced Lahaina residents is now being sued. That's right, KITV Force Christian Concilio spoke today with Alfie Berserto, who may now have to scale back his plans. Alfie Bracerto's already lost his businesses and home in the Lahaina fires, and he's now facing a lawsuit. At a time when all of us need to contribute to the solution. Trying to stop him from building more than a dozen tiny homes in a gated community above Lahaina. I never thought that these guys would go as far as to, you know, file a complaint in court to, to stop, prevent emergency housing. The Pu'unoa Homeowners Association is suing Bacerto and his associates mm. for grading the land without a permit. Before the fires, Bacerto planned to build a luxury tiny home village in the West Maui Hills on two and a half acres of land. His goal has now shifted to letting families live there for free for up to two years to get back on their feet. A representative of the managing company for the association, Hawaiiana Management, would not comment on the litigation. It breaks my heart knowing people are going to have to leave the west side. Like that alone, leaving the west side is hard. Um, you know, leaving Maui, you know, even harder. Kristen Concilio, KITV4, Island News. Who are the names of the people in that association? Who are the people that live up there that are part of it? And why aren't their names being plastered everywhere there? Well, you know, we have some, some work to do. And I'm sorry for getting in tears. They should dox every one of them people in that homeowners association. Every single one of them. You know what some shitbag actor lives there too, right? You know it's going to be some celeb in the gated community, right? That's me and Alfie. I went and seen the project. I went and seen his housing. Shit's just awful, man. Sorry. It's just... Awful. These guys, there's fighting to stay there. Uh, guys, go uh, to my YouTube, Craig Pasta Jardula, the Lahaina on Fire. Check it out. And um, I'm not letting the story go. And I'm going to get my ass back out there. I uh, need your help. I want to know who's in that association. I want to know the people that live there that are like, yeah, we want to make sure people just got burned out, can't have a tiny home anywhere near my gated community. I bet I'd love to, Kurt, to know. I bet, Kurt, too, that they're working with some people within that government, too, as well, that they're working closely with them, that said, we got your back. Go ahead, shut this project well, down. Well, homeowners associations traditionally are, are scumbag organizations. Yeah. They're, the state, really, the state, it, it's a way for the state to privatize a thing that the state should be doing. So then you got to pay money to these like, you ever live in a co-op, you know, kind of awful people live in co-ops. Yeah. The kind of people who have roommates and write their name on their orange juice kind of people. They, those homeowner associations are out of control everywhere Yeah, because it's a privatized thing yeah. where like, you know, NIMBY people go to live. I, I went to one of these things when he was building, like I actually saw what he was building. I saw people that were going to live there. They're just fighting, just trying to stay there. Right, I said from the get go, like I'm not going to dive into what how this started. I'm going to I'm going to highlight what they need to do to survive to stay there, 
And that's what we're going to highlight because it's not going to be a quick fix. It's going to play out in your your courts, in your city council meetings. All this stuff is going to be a fight for some time. The reason why I expanded it for two years is because two years is probably the, fir- the, 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 the soonest they'll be able to break ground in Lahaina. So the whole plan is try to keep them in West Maui, try to keep them there, try to keep them on the island, do all means necessary. This is a yeah. Band-Aid solution, but it's a good solution to keep people there. If they're not going to let them do that, People are going to have to leave. Every rich prick in that homeowner association, they should have their names out and they should get all the canceling treatment that I'm sure they approve of. It's Whoa. overwhelmingly Democrat there. Yeah. So I'm sure it's rich Democrats. They should get all that sweet canceling that they think is so effective. That should happen to them immediately. It's just, um, it's sad because you talk to these people and can you imagine this is your house your grandparents lived in, your parents' parents lived in, your grandparents' parents lived in. For years you were there. You leave one day. It's your whole life. You're never even allowed to go back in there till one time to go see the remains until months after. Everything is gone. Now you're trying to do whatever you can to stay there. And these people have told me, I talked to Alfie, I've talked to his friends, the simple living. They loved it. Everybody knew each other in Lahaina. They buy fish off the street, fruits and stuff. Nimby, nimby, nimby. Get the, find out the names of the people in the association and put their names up as if they were sex offenders. That's what I think should happen. Well, listen, I'm going. So I'm going to be speaking to Alfie. I got his phone number. I got a direct line to the dude. We able to feature him in my movie. That's me and him and Alfie right there overlooking right here. You can see it's like a bomb hit it over there. And I'm sorry for losing my my uh, shit today, but it this, was out of line. This this <laughs> <laughs> Kurt, this this uh, this really this really pissed me off. Yeah, it's this is hard. Um, so we're gonna do what we can do to highlight the situation. Lahaina on fire, volume two coming up. Go to Craig Pasta Jardula. If you go to gibsengo.com slash Lahaina on fire. You can donate a couple bucks and help us out. We're going to hit the ground running. The tickets are already bought. We're there from the 14th to the 20th. If you haven't seen the first one, go to my go to my my YouTube. Like I said, come see us doing uh, live shows. We're going to be in Levittown, Red Bank, New Jersey, Wilmington, Delaware, Covina, California, Burbank, California, Oxnard, California, Venice, California, Palmdale, California, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Iowa, Milwaukee, and Lansing, Michigan. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm-hmm.